Welcome to another conversation with the Brothers of Two Complex. We appreciate y'all for clicking on this video, but before we get into the content, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of these bangers that we drop every single week. We appreciate the support. God bless. Jalen Brown last last week or a week and a half was caught on TV as he was attending the, the Lakers summer league game. Lip readers are saying, he said, I don't think Bronny is a professional. Um, mm-hmm. And so, <laughs> so, and so a lot of people are wondering, um, you know, this caused a lot of debate online about Brown's comments. And a lot of people are wondering, is Jalen Brown a hater or does he have a point about what Bronny said? So or what about Bronny's career and, and if he's a professional or not. So, Sticks, what do you think? Is is Jalen Brown just hating or is he telling the truth? <clears throat> I think his con- I think his statements came off as hate. Uh, but I don't necessarily think he's hating, me personally. Um, now, first of all, I want to talk about the fact that he had An- Angel Reese and uh and, and old girl hold hands. That was something else in itself. Yeah. We're not gonna talk about that, but that was something like, name? okay. Kazir Gondrizic. Kazir, yeah. I can't I can't pronounce her name, but number one, she fine. And Angel Reese fine too. And he had both of them walking behind him holding hands. All right, we're gonna talk. That's another story for another day. But Gondrizic. Kazir Gondrizic. What? She 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 I don't think she in the league no more. She I think she just got uh cut by by the team that she was with. I think she was with the Liberty, I think. What you said, what is she? Yeah, I said, what is she? What is her Fine. ethnicity? It don't matter. Fine. Oh, yeah, we, don't we know that. <laughs> what I'm saying is what the name Gond- Gondrizic. Gondrizic. Like, Gondrizic. She looks like yep. she's she looks she looks to be black, but mm-hmm. Gondrizic doesn't that imply a, yeah. that she's black. Exactly. So that's why I'm like, what is she? I mean, anyway, my fault. I didn't mean that. No, nah, you're good. You're good. You're good. But so I think his I think his statement came off as, as as hate, but I don't think it was necessarily hate because he has a point. We talked about this on the show a couple of times that he Bronny has pro potential, mm-hmm. but is he a pro right now? Did he deserve to be drafted? Is he going to be on the Lakers because of nepotism? One hundred percent. Now all of that stuff is true. He didn't necessarily deserve to be drafted, but he was drafted in the second round because of his pops, because of nepotism. He did have a couple of really good. The, his last two summer league games were really were were better games than what people projected it to be. It was better than his first two for sure. Uh, but Jalen Brown said he didn't think that Bronny was a pro. Kaiser said I think he's going to be in the G League for sure. And then, then of course, um, Jalen Brown said I don't think so. I think because of his name, he'll be on the Lakers. So he has a point. I mean, what he's saying is one hundred percent true. What he's saying is 100 percent true. I don't think that's hate. He Bronny at this point in his career, he's not a pro. He should be on a two way contract and probably should be in the G League somewhere. But he's not going to be because he just signed as a he just signed a a, a guaranteed contract as a second round 55 55th pick signed a seven million dollar guaranteed contract to where he can play with his dad next year. And he's probably going to be the 15th man on the end of the bench, but he's going to be on the Lakers roster. I would be surprised. Well, I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily be surprised because it's a good move for the Lakers to do. But I would 100 percent be surprised if he does play any minutes in the G League. I would be surprised. But, I, but see, that's that's the thing. I think they're going to keep him on the roster just to have that magical moment. But at some point during the year, he's going to go down to the G League. I think so. And they're going to probably sign somebody in his place, but it's going to be like, bro, like he's going to, he needs to be on a two way. He needs to be on a two way. He don't need that guaranteed contract. He needs to be on a two way contract to where he earns that, that guaranteed contract, but he already got it. So what you going to do? You go have to keep him on the contract on the, on the roster at some point. Right. So Jalen Brown is not, he's not hating came off as a hater 100% because that was low key some hating shit to say, but he telling the truth. <laughs> he telling the truth. He low key telling the truth. What you think? Is he, you think he hating? I do not think he hating. He's okay. hating. I think we live in a climate where if somebody is telling the truth or often tells the truth is considered hate. And, truth hurts. Um, I, yeah, truth <laughs> hurts. I don't see anything wrong with what Jalen Brown said, even if it wasn't meant for public consumption. I don't see anything wrong with it. Um, if he feels like Bronny isn't a pro, which a lot of people don't feel like Bronny's a pro and don't feel like he should have been drafted, 
we said on, like you said in your your part, we said on the podcast, we didn't think Bronny was a pro. Yes, he showed potential in um, in the the, com- the combines um, with his shooting and, and athleticism and whatnot. But actually playing in the games, we didn't see how he became the 55th overall pick. If you take his name off of him and, you know, insert James Bryan, it's like, okay, yeah, this this dude averaging four points a game, two assists, three or three assists, two steals, or whatever the case is, he's not going to get drafted. But because of who his dad is, he is in the league and, like you said, has a guaranteed contract for the next four years. Mm-hmm. Is it? Next four years. So, I mean, I, I, I don't think Jalen Brown, who is the NBA Players Association vice president, s- considered the smartest guy in the NBA because of what he does off the court. And, you know, he's a part of some science or NASA um, society and stuff like that. He does that type of stuff in the offseason. I think he can judge professional basketball talent pretty well, I would I would like to think. And so yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think – I don't – think what he said was hating so and if it is and if he's wrong then he's wrong but there have been worse takes made uh, about playing careers before i agree with you but i mean if 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 the if you take Bronny's name off of it and put james bryan on there if he kobe son did he get in no, I said James <laughs> Bryan, not Bryant. Bryan. Oh, okay, got you. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, because yeah, yeah, if it's Kobe, yeah. if it's Kobe's son, he might get in that much. No, no, no. He nah, might have nah, still nah, got nah. drafted. But nah, yeah, like yeah. you said, man. But 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 Bronny is who we who we thought who we knew he was. He, his stats look yeah. just like USC. So like what did you what did you mm-hmm. expect? What did See, you expect? He played he played better the last couple of nights. Which yeah, I know, yeah, takes yeah, yeah. into our next topic, our, our next portion of this segment here shortly. But oh, yeah, nah, for I sure. mean Overall, he's played exactly how he played at USC. Now, he again, I've said it a couple of times. He was on minutes restrictions early on in the mm-hmm. season at USC when he was in college. And as he began to get back into playing shape, they opened up his minutes a bit more. But, I mean, he just didn't play that often. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, he didn't play that many minutes at USC. So that could be a reason why. And, and we're seeing as he becomes more comfortable in himself, he's mm-hmm. be starting to get more confident. He's still shooting, um, and, but his points production is going up a little bit better, um, going up um, in the summer leagues. So, I mean, you, he's a work in progress and, and maybe it'll work out in the end. Um, you know, you compare him to Patrick Beverly, I see that as a, a good comparison, especially if you look at the the summer. And when I when you first said, I was like, eh. but now looking at the summer league stats and then comparing it to Patrick Beverly's Beverly's stats, that uh, could be a good. But not, comparison even, but not even that. But not even that. If Jalen Brown is the sta- is is a good if 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 Jalen Brown is a standard of summer league, Bronny shot better than him in in his summer league right. than what Jalen Brown shot in his. Jalen Brown was five for twenty six. Bronny was six for twenty six. So like, right. not necessarily better. I mean, a percentage, a percentile point better. But at the same time, it's like you didn't have a good summer league either, and people were probably right. looking at you like eh, he might have been overdrafted because he playing like yeah. shit in the summer league. But you can't say that. You can't say that you don't think Bronny's a pro whenever you shot worse than him in your summer league, bro. And now you yeah. a, a, a Finals MVP, Eastern Eastern Conference Finals MVP, and a World Champion. So like. Let's not get ahead. Now, not I'm not gonna get ahead of myself and say that Bronny is gonna grow to be Jalen Brown. That's OD. But at the same time, you didn't have a good summer league either, bro. So just give that man right. some time. Give him some grace to to get comfortable. Like Dilo was saying, he's starting to get a little bit more comfortable in the in the, in the NFL in the NBA system and starting to you know get, grow into his own. Let that man have some time. Let him have some grace. But. We'll see, but yeah, but with I it, think go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Now I was gonna say, in in Jalen Brown's defense on this one, I'm pretty sure he his stats coming out of Cal were better than Bronny's. Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was just getting he was just getting accustomed to the league, probably working the jitters out of being in the NBA. Same could be said about Bronny, but I don't think anybody that had Jalen Brown stats coming out of Cal and then not performing well in the, in the oh, yeah. summer league would say, Oh, he's, he's not a pro. 
No, nah, it's just it's <laughs> nobody not would ever ready. say that. That's true. Right. That's and, true. But but with Bronny again only scoring four points and being a second <laughs> round pick, it's natural that you would say he's just not he's just not a pro. He is who like you said, he is who we thought he was. He is who we thought but, he was. You know, give him some time. He is a James kid. He'll he could grow to be more than what we think he is. Um he just mm-hmm. He has the opportunity, and that's all we need is opportunity. That's and it. what we do with the opportunity is on us. And so what Bronny does with this opportunity will be on him, and we'll see. And Jalen Brown's freshman stats, 14 points, uh, what assists, uh, five, six rebounds, two assists. So a lot better than what four, three, and two. So yeah, yeah. we get it. We can we can always we can have an argument all we want to, but now that Bronny has played a couple of games pretty good in the summer league, now all of a sudden he is the favorite for rookie of the year. D-Lo, how you feel about that? <laughs> this is nonsense. This nonsense. Is nonsense. I don't, it's I don't know if people nine, are. It's a 10, yeah, yeah. a 11. <laughs> right, you feel me? I, I don't know if people are just like playing the odds and trying to say, well, if Bronny, because I was, what's the what's the percentage? Or what's I just the, I just saw it. I just saw it. It was uh the percentage. Well, damn, I just I just saw it. Keep, go ahead, keep talking, keep talking, keep talking. I'm sure I'm sure it's something crazy. So they're saying like, okay, well if he plays like this, and you know for whatever reason, two fifty to best one, rookie, two hundred fifty to okay. one to win. I got you. So they, they, definitely play, they, def- they definitely play. So yeah. if somebody puts a thousand dollar bet, yes. they'll make a two hundred fifty thousand dollar winnings off of that bet. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. You sure? If you put a dollar down, you make two fifty. Yeah, I got you. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so yeah. So I mean, I just feel like people, the people and the media are funny when it comes to certain individuals. Like they'll mm-hmm. they'll turn on their head for whatever reason at a drop of a dime. And so, like, before Bronny started scoring 12, 13 points a game, it was like, oh, he, like like you just said, out. he's not a pro. He's not ready. He he don't need to be. He won't be there for long. Now he's started to perform decent. Oh, he might be the rookie of the year. Let me put some money on him. <laughs> no. But but if, if, let's not forget about the rookie that he's playing with, Dalton Connect. Dalton Connect. Played, I was just about to say that. very well. Played very well yeah. this whole most most of the, his first game wasn't good, but from two to whatever he played very well. So I mean, mm-hmm. y'all could bet on Bronny all you want to. I'm I don't think he's going to be rookie of the year. I don't think so either, man. Because like like you said, we're not even talking about we're not even talking about the guy who was drafted number seventeen. Like let's not right. let's not forget about him. Was it seventeen or fourteen? It was seventeen, right? I'm pretty sure it was seventeen. 17. Yeah, let's not forget yeah, about the 17. guy that was that was that was uh, drafted number seventeen. That's on the same team as him. That's playing way better than him in summer league. Like, come on, bro. Like, stop, stop. Y'all got to stop this bullshit. I don't think LeBron has that much pull. Like, he's not yeah, going to yeah, play yeah, better yeah. than Connect. He's not going to play better than Dillingham. He's not going to play better than than half the rookies that were drafted one through fifty four. Like, stop playing, bro. Like, stop, right. stop the madness. Like, what are we? Why? Why is this even a conversation? Like, why is this even a conversation? Somebody literally put a one thousand dollars because down he's a, on him to win Rookie of the Year. But if he wins it, yeah. he get two hundred fifty thousand dollars. So. Right, right. Who knows? But it's because he's LeBron James' son, man. So, sure. you know, as we see, Bron about to be 40, <laughs> came through in the clutch la- uh, two night score last night against Germany. You know, mm-hmm. so you think, okay, it may was be it Germany, was it, it, it the Sudan? I thought that was the Sudan game. It was that. Germany. It was okay. Germany. Gotcha. gotcha he had gotcha. like the last 11 points or whatever for the USA. He also he hit the game winning layup to beat the uh the Sudan team. Sudan, too. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so I mean, Brian has been doing his thing. So you you would think, okay, well maybe it's something in the James jeans because Bryce doesn't look bad don't as look bad a at all. junior senior in high school. A, yep, junior year in high school, I believe. I'm and afraid. so, like, I mean, maybe maybe he'll figure it out. Maybe his athletic prowess will take over at some point in time. But like, come on, dog. Let's, Let's let's be serious here. Yeah, let's 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 not get ahead of ourselves here, people. He's not winning rookie of the year, and if he does, y'all can come back to this video and say sticks, D'Lo, you yeah. some fools.